Yo, what's up guys? My name is Iron Boffin and we are taking on Season 19 of VGC in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, we picked up a new team last video featuring Shadow Calyrex and probably my favorite. They got the Sylveon on this team. That's why we're winning. Uh, no spoilers. We did very well last video and we're going to get right back into it, man. We need to get... We got to get Ultra Ball. We have Ultra Ball potential this game. Let's get into it. I think Calyrex is so strong. So let's get into it. What do you got? What are you bringing against me? What shall you bring against me? Um, the Tarapagos. Um, I know that uh, Ogre Pond is my really good Tarapagos matchup. So I'm tempted to lead something like Ogre Pond Calyrex looks really good. But also, I think I actually bring Calyrex in the back as like a little late game sweep action. Urshifu looks pretty solid here. Can't protect in front of me. I can Ogre Pond, Mold Breaker, pass the Terrapago shell shenanigans. Um, Sylveon looks absolutely phenomenal. And then I think we bring... Do I want to... I want to bring the bird. Bird is the word looks pretty good here. Um, especially because he's going to get his uh, tailwind up. Yeah, let's go with these though. Let's go with this. Ogre Pond is really good for the turtle, so we'll bring we'll bring it. And then I, I think if we can get some Hyper Voice stuff off with Sylveon, I think we do a lot of damage, so let's go for it. Let's full send it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I didn't see who was in their picture, I wanted to see. I like to look at those. All right, who do we got? Let's start off strong. Tornadus and Cinderwar, classic. A classic lead, and I am prepared for that. I was prepared for that. Um, so he's obviously free to fake out here. Something like a fake out tailwind. Um, I don't think I have to go for... Who's he going to fake out, though? I could really just double into Incineroar to make sure I take it out. Kind of what I want to do. He could be Ghost as well, though. If he doesn't tear it a ghost, then Ivy Cudgel will hit it hard. And then I can go for Wicked Blow. Yeah, that'll work. That'll cover if he... Okay, so he goes for the fake out. Bleak Wind Storm is going to hit both of my... Oh, or Shifu dodges. That's huge. Or Shifu dodging that is actually huge. I get the flinch. And I get the Ivy Cudgel. Oh, it doesn't knock. Okay. Okay. Um, what do I want to do here? Our Shifu getting that dodge is pretty nice. There's no reason to sack our Shifu here. So let's go for a spiky shield and let's get Sylveon in here. Sam, I'm surprised he didn't get, go for his tailwind or anything. I, I guess he doesn't have to because he's faster. I think, what is Ogre Pond speed? Like 100 or something? I don't think Ogre Pond is particularly fast, but let's get the spiky shield up. Sylveon's not particularly threatened by either of these Pokemon. He goes for that Bleak Wind Storm. If you drop Sylveon's speed, that's like whatever. The zero. And then I'm expecting like a parting shot or something from the Incineroar. Goes for the knockoff. So he knocks off my fairy feather. Which definitely isn't ideal. Um, he, he literally just gets to keep clicking uh, Bleak Wind Storm, which I don't love. I actually hate it. If I go for a second spiky shield and I get it, then I'm in good shape. If I don't get it, then it didn't matter because I was going to die anyway. So I might as well go for it and then I'll go for a hyper voice. Let me get that. Let me get that spiky shield. Damn. Fair enough. This is a big one storm. Connects both. Must be nice to be good at Pokemon. Um, if you go for Flare Blitz, I'm in trouble here. Go for Taunt. I'm. I literally want to attack you. I'm literally clicking Hyper Boys. <laughs> like I want to attack. So that was my plan. Was to attack. So thank you. Okay, so now we can go into Calyrex. I 
Because Calyrex should be able to take out the... Oh, he goes in Terrapagos. Yeah, that was really bad to lose over time. Because I needed it for Terrapagos. This thing's a normal type, right? It's not just stellar type the whole time. Yeah, okay. I didn't think so. Um... What if he goes for, like, a setup move, though? I can still go for the Astro Barrage and knock out Tornadus. And Sylveon can go for another Hyper Voice. He straight up terrestrializes. Okay, that you're gonna let me hit you with Astro Barrage then, right? I think you're... I think you lose your immunity. You lose your immunity here. So I will get to attack you first. He goes for the Tailwind. That's not surprising. Calyrex probably still outspeeds Turtle with the Tailwind, though. Just kidding. No, I don't. Just kidding. Yeah, I live in a hit. I should have a hit. No way you knocked me off and fall. I'm not terrestrialized. Okay. So Calyrex lives. Sylveon goes down. I wish I got, like, a quick attack or something off. Astro Barrage. Oh, I don't affect the Trapago still. So Stellar is immune to Ghost. Interesting. Get him, Nay. All right, I guess it's because you get to keep your normal defensive type, right? Okay, he brings in the fish. The fish. Lowers the spin-off of all Pokemon. How does he have Tailwind? He has it for plenty of turns, I'm sure. Three out of four turns. Oh, uh, let's see here what I can do. Not a whole lot. I could be Stellar type. What would that do for me? I don't think that would do anything, but I don't think I live anyway. So I could just go for a easily faster. Stellar Sucker Punch? I don't think he's going to do enough. Definitely not. Do I have another choice anyway? No. <laughs> no. I don't have another choice anyway. Just send it. Go for it. I believe. So yeah, I don't think it matters. Obviously, um... There's no way Sucker Punch knocks here. I can dream. <laughs> that did nothing. Go for the Snarl. Yeah, that's a good play. Knocks out Calyrex. And he's gonna knock me out. Dude, that turtle, dude. That turtle always does so well. I do really bad against the turtle. But I think turtle is probably just really good against Shadow Rider Calyrex because you he's a mute. So um, I'm not sure who I would have. I just needed to not lose Turtle or Overpawn right off the bat, I feel like. But Turtle does seem to be bullying me a lot, and I don't seem to be learning how to play around Turtle. If there is playing around Turtle, that is. I just, I lose the Turtle a lot. But that's okay, because we're going to get a second game today. And I will earn my chance at getting your like and subscription. So, I'll catch you guys back here for game two. All right, we're back for game two. Let's see who we'll be fighting against. Danny, I think I fought you earlier today, dog. He's got a Charizard. I'm in love. He's got a Charizard. He's got Sun. Um, Calyrex looks insane. Calyrex looks insane. But Sylveon also looks really good here. Uh, actually, I lied. There's like three fire types. Well, Koridon's not a fire type. I'm just trying to think of who would like to be here. Because I could leave Gothitelle and Calyrex. But if he gets a speed boost with his uh, Fluttermane, then... Oh, you know what? I can get Priority Tailwind and do it that way. So let's do that. Let's bring in the Gothitelle and try to trap something. And then do I want to bring Urshifu? What does Urshifu here do, do here for me? I feel like Urshifu doesn't do a lot. But then if I bring Sylveon, I get some Hyper Voices. Hyper Voice is good for... What do I have for the Raikou? Nothing. I have Urshifu. I guess I just bring Urshifu. I think I just bring Urshifu. But I get Priority Tailwind up, which is pretty good. 
I don't he could he could lead um Raikou. I don't know if it's gonna carry Thunderbolt or not if he does the Raging Bolt. He leads the Raging Bolt and the Koridon. Okay, that's a problem. Shiny T Flame. I don't know if he's gonna bring Thunderbolt or not. And then what kind of boost does Raikou get? I'm sure it gets um, special attack boost, right? Yep. Okay. Um, I just Tailwind. Like, yeah, it probably cost me that, but I can just do this. I think I just do this. I think I just play it easy. I might have to put more thought into it, but honestly, I get my Tailwind up, and then I get Astro Barrage. Just show that I'm faster. He can Thunderclap. He can't Thunderclap the Talon Flame. He can go for Electro Lab or Thunderbolt if he has it. Terastalizes the Koridon into Fire, I imagine. Oh, he Terastalizes the Raikou. Okay. Okay. Going for big thunderclaps. I get my tailwind up. Bing bong. Show me thunderclap. Astro Barrage is gonna hurt though. This is Specs Astro Barrage. God, that's insane, dude. That's insane damage. So we knock out the Koridon right off the bat. Uh, his Raikou's in a good spot to hurt me pretty bad here though. Thunder Ghost, that's a terrible set. That's a terrible set. You do not want you do not go for Thunder if you're setting up Sun. That is a terrible, terrible set on his end. Are you gonna get a speed boost? You got a speed boost. I should still be faster with Tailwind. I am faster with Tailwind. I have priority Brave Bird. Yeah, that's just that's just a bad set, to be honest with you. To run Thunder is really bad. And if you're running, you can't run Thunder on a Sun team. You gotta be Thunderbolt or Thunderclap. You're like you can't be you can't be running Thunder. Brave Burn! Straight up knocked out. Wow. Straight up knocked it out. We're gonna win this game with pure offense. I'm assuming to see a Thunderclap here. Yep, there's a Thunderclap. Will I live a plus one Thunderclap? Woo! I do. And Astro Barrage! Smack! To take out the Raging Bolt, I am plus two special attack now. The Calyrex is really quite a, a bully, to be honest with you. Calyrex is quite a bully. So now I'm plus two. I still have a Talon Flame out here. He brings in the Ogre. And I can go for a Brave Bird. I am faster than you. And you're obviously, yeah, we, we don't lose this. GG, baby! That's the first win of the video. You guys gotta like, comment, and subscribe. But let's go for the rubber match. Let's get two wins. Let's get two wins in a game or in a video. We found a trainer fast. Here we go. Armac. What you got for me, Armac? This is the rubber game. We're going for the two victories. Oh, he's got um, Alex's team, it looks like. Is that Alex's team? Underhill, something like that? All right, remember the Electabuzz. Um... I wonder if I can pull it up real fast. I'm on the website. Where's my mouse? Alex Underhill. This looks like your team. Okay. So, Calyrex is actually pretty doo-doo butter here because I can't hit. There are three Pokemon I can't hit with Astral Barrage, so that's pretty bad. But what I can do is I can hurt everybody pretty bad with Urshifu. Uh, does Quick Guard protect both of my um, Mons from Fake Out? Because that would be pretty useful. Anyway. Um, who do I want to lead here? Urshifu looks really good. We'll bring Urshifu. I'm really afraid of the final Gambit from um, Annihilate there. So I kind of want to bring Follow Me Ogre Pond so he has to take Ogre. It's like not a bad lead. Also lets me do a little redirection shenanigans. Um, Sylveon looks pretty strong here and I think I go Gothitelle to be 
annoying. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I don't think this will go particularly well. Um, when they bring three normal types and I literally can't touch anybody with my legendary, that's not great. So this is a tough game for us no matter what, but maybe we brought the pieces. Okay, yeah, no, so there's the Annihilate. He's gonna go for Final Gambit and Trick Room and then try to bring in Ursa Luna. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to follow me so he has to... Yeah, so we're gonna Wicked Blow into the Ferrigarath and we're going to follow me so he has to attack Ogre. So I don't want him to attack our Shifu. I'm assuming that's what he goes for here. Um, I need to make sure I keep our Shifu around for... Our Shifu is gonna be the mod that puts in the work this game, for sure. Withdraws the Ferregaraf. Okay, that's fine with me, to be honest. As long as you don't get up Trick Room that turn immediately, comes into Electabuzz. Shiny Electabuzz. Okay, show me Final Gambit. Yep. Sad to lose. I hate to lose Ogre Pond like that, but when that's what Annihilate is going to do, I have to make sure I protect your Shifu here. Bye, Ogre Pond. You did your job, buddy. And I get to get a Wicked Blow off into the Electabuzz, which is pretty good damage. Um, So who did he have? He had... Who was on the other side just now? So he just took out Farigarath. I'm trying to think of who I'd want to go into to mess up Farigarath. Um, I could bring Gothitelle, but I can't go for like a taunt. Yeah, I'll bring in Gothitelle to get a taunt off. He could have Mental Herb. He does have Mental Herb on this Farigarath. I can see the team. Okay, so he's going to go for Follow Me. Um, can I stop Trick Room from coming? I don't think so. But I'm going to make him do it anyway. Can I fake out the... Can I fake out the follow me? That's what I'm going to try to do. We'll see how that works. I can't go for fake out because he has armor tail. Good thing I stopped myself there. Um, I still go for wicked blow, and then I think I just go for taunt. It's not priority or anything. I think I just go for taunt into the electabuzz so I can attack the frigraph next turn. Yep. Okay, we get a, we get a knockout on Electabuzz, which is good. Do I get to get the taunt off? He has Mental Herb anyway, so it doesn't matter. He has the Mental Herb. Bing. Yep, Mental Herb. We knew we had it. Nothing I could do there. Uh, now Blood Moon Ursa Luna gets to come in and be a huge problem. Ursula Luna gets to come in and be a problem. And I can't even go... Oh, he brings in Calyrex. Okay, that's also just as bad, if not worse. Okay, so what I think I have to do is here is I go for the Detect on through Urshifu. And then I switch out into Sylveon to hopefully get some fake-out pressure afterwards. Because the Ferrigarath can't actually touch me. He has Psychic Noise and Terra Blast, so he can't touch me. So if I can fake out... Goes for the Terra Blast. I guess he can touch me with Terra Blast, but I don't think that's going to hurt too bad. And he goes for Glacier Lance. Could you miss? I don't know if Glacier Lance misses. It'd be nice if you could. Oh. Probably would have been better for me if he did knock out Sylveon. Uh, so I gotta go for close combat. I gotta live two hits. Oh god, am I gonna live two hits? Sylveon's pretty fast here too, though. What does Sylveon have? Can Sylveon protect or anything here? I can detect with Sylveon. We'll see how this goes. I think this is the only thing I can do. I don't think I'm going to lift two hits from this. Yeah, no, he's going to knock me out with Glacial Lance here. It is resisted, though. It is resisted. There's a chance, maybe. 
Please? Damn. Damn, yeah, he got him he got himself into a spot where he was like guaranteed to be able to get up trick room, so. If I can fake out the Calyrex here and go for a hyper voice. I can't fake out. That was like my whole plan, and I can't fake out because I. That's unfortunate. Let's see if a foul play gets the knockout, and let's go for a hyper voice. Let's just see if we can do anything here. Uh, GG's for sure. GG's. We don't win our rubber match. I don't know how. I think I needed to play. I'm trying to think of how I get that trick room to stop. I don't know how I stop that, stop that trick room. GG's for sure. That was just really good. I just don't think there was a way to stop Trick Room from going up there. Um, we don't win the rubber match, but we did get one win this video, so that's pretty good. We'll take that at least. Um, but thank you guys for watching the video, and I hope I catch you guys on the next one. See you later.